Now, if you own a vehicle and you're disappointed with its performance, the cheapest and easiest way to fix that is to bolt one of these on. <laughs> a hairdryer. Well, not really. The thing is a turbocharger. It works on a similar principle. The turbocharger was invented by Swiss engineer Alfred Bucci in 1905. The first use of a turbo appeared in diesel ships and locos in the 1920s. French warplanes were equipped with turbo Renault engines in World War I and the first production turbocharged automobile engine was developed by General Motors in 1962. Today the turbo is a common addition to many cars. Now a turbocharger is a relatively simple piece of engineering. Here's one here and I'll show you how it works. The exhaust gases are blown through here and spins that turbine. This is a fixed shaft and spins that end which is the compressor. This compresses the fuel and air mixture and forces it into the combustion chamber. The turbocharger is a small centrifugal pump driven by the exhaust gases of an engine. It consists of a turbine and a compressor on a shared shaft. The end is spun by the engine's exhaust, which in turn spins the compressor and draws in air and then pumps it into the intake manifold at an increased pressure, which pressurises the engine on the intake stroke. Now a normally aspirated engine like this relies on the downward stroke of the engine to draw the fuel and air mixture into the combustion chamber, whereas the turbocharger actually forces that mixture into the engine. Now a turbo can blow up an engine if it's not controlled properly, and this is done by a thing called a wastegate. The wastegate is usually controlled in vehicles by the ECU or the engine control unit. Now the team here at United Fuel Injection specialise in turbos of all shapes and sizes. Have a look at this range. Well there's one here, the baby of them all, which is off a Yanmar Genset. Then we go through the range up to a granddaddy one like this off a dump truck. Now the dump truck not only has one of these, but has four fitted. See, this place is impressive. There's more wastegates, impellers and turbochargers than you can poke a stick at. <laughs> what is the main failure with one? Well, these days, with the stuff that works hard, um, the industrial diesel stuff, it's generally impellers that we've kind of found the limit of. And there's a process called low cycle fatigue where, according to the number of times that the thing's been accelerated through its critical speed, eventually the aluminium impellers fatigue and throw a piece out the side. And, that throws right. the thing out of balance and it's a uh, catastrophic failure. Right. So, if you want more power in your vehicle, drop in and see the team here at United Fuel Injection. Get them to strap on one of these and you'll finish up with more grunt than a piggery. To find out more, go to zoomtv.com.au and follow the links to United Fuel Injection.